What's up, family? This is your man, not your boy. Go black to Africa. I want to show you all this. I'm standing right here in Columbia, South Carolina, the capital, to be exact. Unbeknownst um, to many of you all, beneath your nose, there are many of pieces of the puzzle that actually proves that they already know where you come from in from Africa. If you look at here, South Carolina African American History Monument, we're going to see right here, we got America and here are the routes that came from that they took us from Africa. They have shown that from Senegal, Sierra Leone, Ghana, and the Congo. These areas, these countries are where they took our ancestors from. Now, I also want to point out, because we know the war is going on in Israel and also Palestine, but little do you know the contributions we as a people have done to, for this country when it came to wars coming out of slavery, coming into our freedom. Then you're going to start to see that we participated in civil wars, the liberation, emancipation proclamation. As you see here, But let's continue on the contributions that we've done, but have no respect because I'm about to get on Israel here in a minute. We've gone on to become the citizens, if you will. They have the 15th Amendment, Freedom Bureau, the 14th Amendment, and all these things of, you know, the right to vote on down to Jim Crow laws. This is right here, they show you what we've endured, what we went through, what we've been through, what we've contributed. Look at this. Briggs versus Elliot, Brown versus the Board of Education. These were actually our fights for education, our fight to be free, to have the, our freedom, as you see here, for equality, freedom, freedom and equality. As you see, we deserve equal rights. This is all right here in South Carolina, on down to where we have gone on and further our education or our careers. But let me go ahead and hit you with this. You know, it's mighty funny that the, the people who want to defend Israel, and I've said this before, I'm not taking both, I'm not taking sides, Palestine or Israel. But what I find hypocritical is so many people in America say they support Israel. And my question is, why? You know, oh, because they've been through the Holocaust and you know they are. Why is it when we say we've been through slavery, the first thing they say is that that wasn't you. It was your ancestors. You all didn't go through it. Well, these people who survive and are living today didn't go through the Holocaust. You know, I find that, you know, when it comes to these type of conversations, it's always what they say that doesn't apply to us always will apply to them. It's interesting enough that America spends $5 billion a year supporting Israel. Everybody knows Israel was giving land where they moved out the Palestinians and put them in their reservations, the Gaza Strip, West Bank, Limit, limiting them like they limited us. And what does that mean? They took over this country. They put natives on reservations, enslaved many of our brothers and sisters, put us then 
from the lands of what we worked into what we would call projects, ghettos, keeping us boxed in. And yet while all the frustration begins to spew over an anger, people get upset when you see when the Palestinians explode because you being pressed in. Now anybody knows, we know how it is to be locked into a place where you're all have no space for movement. You have no freedom, no liberty. And what happens? Typically, you'll begin to fight amongst each other. You begin to destroy each other. Whether it's the natives, they have turned to their alcohol and depressions and they live in their poverty on over to other groups of people like us who have suffered tremendously, but yet it's ironic, it's, it's really doesn't make any sense that you can defend a country who willfully have biases and prejudice against the African Jews who came there to live. You inoculated the people, you gave them the women birth control where they can't have babies for at least 10 years. You drop bombs on people. All of these things that have happened and yet nobody wants to understand why did the Hamas, after the pain, the misery that the people are going through, would act in such a way? So the sympathy goes out to Israel. But yet we don't have the sympathy. People cannot understand what many of our ancestors have gone through to include us who live on today. But we can support and defend those who continue to war with other nations and yet have no sympathy for those who are being boxed in, who's lost their freedom, who's lost their liberty. You see, this slave ship right here is nothing but a constant reminder of the damage of what they have done to us. These memorials, and I believe they're nothing more than a white supremacist pride showing how they have destroyed many of our people. So let's just keep in mind, if America wants to support people who have went through Holocaust and misery, where is our support? Where is our nation? They didn't put us in a nation. They haven't created and has, has given us land. They haven't gone with forces to, to remove those and, and, and place us in the, where we deserve to be, but yet they want to go ahead and act as though everything is A-OK. -okay. This anger, this pain will always exist until we receive restitution. Many say reparations, I say restitution. To restore a people rightfully where they should be. And until that happens, I say damn Erica will never ever experience the true freedom that it should. This is your man, not your boy, bringing you another gold nugget that you can either pick up or you can just kick it aside.